What's up, everybody? My name is Futon, and I'm gonna be telling y'all about like a bunch of different consistencies with light speed, right? In Naruto, by the way. So we all know that you know Korra. The people definitely don't think that, that Naruto's light speed, right? A lot of people don't think that Naruto's light speed. I'm gonna show you a bunch of consistencies with it. So. Like without stalling or anything. I'll just get right into it. So first of all, we got Haku. You already know the statements, right? She well he uses her uh, mirrors to go at light speed. And you can say that it's not actually light speed, or she has to go all out to actually be light speed. But the thing is, it's never stated that she has to go all out. It's just stated that when she goes between her mirrors, it's light speed movement. It's never ever, it's, I, I, at least I don't recall it's ever being stated that she has to go all out for it to be light speed. And on top of that, even if you do use a mistranslation that says something about something or whatever, it's also stated that she, that he, <laughs> that he uses, um, he uses like body flicker, well, yeah, body flicker, which is teleportation, by the way. He uses body flicker to transport to, to transport himself between the mirrors, like using his um, image, like his reflection off the mirrors. If you didn't know, reflections of light are light speed. And now I actually have a friend who says they have a debunk for Haku, and it's apparently something about um, reflections being able to be slowed down when not in a vacuum. But if anyone ever brings that up, they would have to, because you've already, if you, like, say that Naruto, Kid Naruto's light speed, right? And then you go to prove it, you send the scan. Just make them prove that it's, the, uh, that it, um, is not, like, actually a light speed in this case. Because that's how, you know, that's how the burden of proof works. If people didn't know that. I'll put a scan up here on the screen, because, you know, a lot of people figure out, like, a lot of people don't know how burden of proof works. So, like, just either ask them to, like... You can just ask them to prove that it's the case here, and which it's basically impossible. So they can't prove that it's the case here, so it's basically just invalid. And the, the thing with that is, you could easily prove this part of the narrative for it to be light speed. Probably not in this part of the series, but in the entire series as a whole, it's well, it's made abundantly clear that Haku is light speed, right? Using but like using his mirror using his mirrors to reflect his image and teleport between them That's literally use he's using reflections of like his image, which is like light speed because reflections of light, you know light light speed, you know and The fact that it's stated in the data books that he moves at light speed and it's impossible to see him from literal light speed movement, right? It's part of the narrative as a whole for him to be light speed Now, on to the second point I want to talk about, right? You know Jubi Dada, right? Um, this is Jutsu called Light Fang, alright? And it's, it's, it's Light Fang. It's, it's quite literally called Light Fang. It's, it's, it looks like a beam of light, and it's called Light Fang. It, I don't need to explain with this. This is, this is easily one of the most common, commonly used, uh, light speed consistencies that people especially from Quora and like TikTok use right so like if you use this it's it's fine right but the problem with using this is that the fact that kid Naruto um was able to like blitz slash react to hot well not really react yeah kind of no not really react but it's kind of like able to blitz hot well yeah was able to blitz Haku but the fact that Teen Naruto against Jubi Dada was like was able to dodge a light speed attack also, right? So if they're both light speed, then you could just say that you know you, you, I'm not even gonna say because I don't like ratting that much, but you can make some weird arguments for why Teen Naruto and Kid Naruto are like equal, or maybe even say that Teen Naruto slower because he couldn't blitz Jubi Dada right after reacting to it. third point I'll go on to is, you know, A, the, the fourth Raikage, I almost said third, 
the fourth Raikage, right? We all know that it's straight up stated. It's 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 stupidly stated that he his lariat is not only stated to move it at light speed, right? And people say it's almost at light speed. That's a mistranslation. It's actually rushing at the speed of light. But if if you do say that oh that's just V1A, it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't really matter if it's V1 or V2. But you could just say oh it's it doesn't really matter at all to be honest which makes no sense even if you do just disregard the lariat thing it's so like oh since he doesn't use lariat against uh a bunch of people that means that he's not light speed haha <laughs> take that haha <laughs> so funny but even if you do say that it's also stated later on that his synapses basically like the neurons in his head move at light speed themselves and then on top of that he him he himself is stated to be a light speed so it's it's stupidly consistent for anyone to debunk fourth point i'll go into is the uh on boo right if you didn't know it's actually a scan that straight up says that Anbu are light speed, right? There's an English version and there's a translated version. You can take either one, but it says that Anbu are light speed, and it it's more of a general statement. Even if you do say that the only the two Anbu in the scan of it are light speed, which is stupidly ratty and doesn't even make it doesn't hold any weight, make any sense, or like it, it makes no sense whatsoever. And holds no weight but even if you do say that you could just like it's easy to prove that Kakashi's above these two Ambo right or like Hiruzen and then that just make it like a spark of Kakashi Hiruzen lightspeed and then Orochimaru lightspeed and then you could probably prove that kid you could easily prove that kid Naruto's above Kakashi and then you can make him lightspeed and just go on and on and on so it doesn't really matter whether or not you think it's this, these two Anbu on the scan, or it's the Anbu as a whole. But it's more of a general statement, so I don't know why you'd claim that. Alright, fifth point I'll go over, right? You know, the, um, alright, so it's stated that water bullet, like, uh, Tachi's what? well, is it Tachi, is it Tachi? Hold on a second. I think it's Itachi's. Yes, alright. It's stated that Itachi's um, water bullet moves at the speed of light, right? Well, yeah, it says at the speed of light, right? And if Itachi's water bullet moves at the speed of light, and then Kakashi, k k like Kakashi, um, he reacts to it and puts up his own water, right? If Kakashi can react to a light speed water bullet and then put up his own water wall, that means that it's also supported that Kaka it's also supported that Kakashi is a light timer, considering that he could pretty easily cut down a lightning bolt before it reached the ground with the Chidori. So that's kind of a little like that's a little string you can pull off right there. And then if Kakashi to like it's Kakashi and it like scales to light speed and reaction and like combat speed. Probably movement speed, too, well, travel speed too. You could argue that, but if he scales the light speed and then it goes back to the point where I was talking about Kur uh, Kaka, um, Orochimaru scales the light speed and then Hiruzen scales the light speed and then you can get everyone on part one to light speed that you can scale off of Kakashi, if you can. That is, 